what's going on, man? This is your boy, Super Mario, with Music Soul Live Showcase. I have a very special guest with me, Mr. James Lee. Bye. How you doing, man? Pretty good, man. Glad to be here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, if you guys do not know who Mr. James Levi is, he was one of the uh, finalists at the first annual Music Soul Live Showcase, which took place in December of 2019. And for you all that's watching right now, uh, we're doing exclusive interviews with our finalists. So um, you, the audience, uh, have a chance to get in tune um, with number one, the Music Soul Live Showcase and, you know, letting you guys know what it's all about and also letting you guys get acquainted you know what I'm saying with the finalists from last year um things are a little different now with COVID and everything like that um we won't be doing a show in person but we'll be doing a virtual show for so all, everyone across the globe that's going to tune in um this is your chance to you know what I'm saying get to know um our showcase finalists from the first annual music soul live showcase uh um James if you don't mind I'm gonna go ahead and do a little plug and I'm gonna plug in the Glen Bar group they were they are responsible for the Music Soul Live Showcase. Um, you guys can go follow the Glenn Bavar Group on Instagram, and that is G-L-E-N-B-E-B-E-R-T Group, all one word. And also, while you're on Instagram, go ahead and follow Music Soul Live Showcase as well. And that's Music Soul Live Showcase, all one word. And this video content is being brought to you by Jazz Creative Media and On The Beat Podcast. James Lee, bye, man. Are you ready to get up in here and let the people know who you are? Yes, sir. All right, cool deal, man. So, James, you know what I'm saying? We did a little introduction um, and everything like that for you. Um, let the people know, you know what I'm saying, when was that time and what was that pivotal moment where you wanted to be a singer or an artist? Uh, I mean, really all my life, uh, you know, music is life, to be quite honest with you. Uh, it has a sense of... Uh, or an effect to kind of enchant the mind and uh, kind of move the whole room into one heartbeat uh, and like have a, 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 a unison in the spirit, you know? And just uh, being a witness, I fell victim to that, you know? Uh, so music has kind of always been in my life. And then my father, he was a lead singer of a band and played the bass guitar. My mom, she sings. So, you know, I was, I was almost haunted by music. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So... It was just uh it was it was something that you know i felt like uh if my vessel um could house that energy to have an effect on people to you know uh uh unify them in all one situation or scenario i i had to i had to you know uh accept that and it felt like it was what i was supposed to do you know what i mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah, exactly, man. You know, um, you know, being, you know, being in a family of musicians and and singers and all that, you know, just a family full of music, you know, Pressure. You, you you have some type of responsibility to keep that family tradition going on, man. So I salute you on that, man. Um, so what we're gonna do right now, man? We're gonna transition and you know, saying talk a little bit about the showcase from last year. Um, so let's start from the beginning. You know, what I'm saying what made you decide to participate and submit and perform at the Music Soul Live Showcase. What what was that moment where you was like, you know what, I, I want to submit to that. I want to be a part of that showcase right there. Well, uh, I've always like did shows or performances or concerts or whether I was singing lead or background. Uh, but when I started to record um, and a songwrite for R&B, I had a friend who uh, kind of uh, was telling me about the showcase. And, um, you know, uh, I was a little uncomfortable with it at first because it was a competition setting and I never, uh, you know, uh, have uh, ha had any experience with that. But uh, the timing was right and uh, uh, it just felt good, you know? Yeah. So uh, I, I had to. Awesome, awesome, man. Hey, you know, it, it ain't nothing... Ain't nothing wrong with stepping out there, man, and saying, you know what, I'm going to do this or whatnot. And look what happened, man. You was a finalist. Look at you, boy. Look at you, man. Hey, and that's what's up, man. Um, definitely you you, you embarked hey. on something that was very special. Go ahead. It takes a lot of work, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work, man. And, uh, and that's what the showcase was all about, man, you know, from the people that was putting it together to you guys the artists from the first annual music solo showcase um you guys really came together man and and really brought that to life man for real for real i commend you guys on that man so you know in regards to the showcase itself man um take us and and let us know what was your favorite performance round 
um, in the showcase and, and why that was your favorite show, uh, performance round in the showcase? Uh, I, I probably would have to say uh, the second round. Okay, because the, the first round had a, uh, you know, it was just like an introduction to all of the artists and their styles. And then the second round was like a challenge because everybody seemed a little bit uncomfortable stylistically, whether it was them uh, having a similar sound to the to the uh, the original artist of whatever cover that they were doing and to see what stylistically they could do to differ- differentiate themselves. So the second round really took everybody out of the comfort zone. And that's where the artistry was like truly display, uh, dis- on display, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, that round, that was the uh, the round where you had to uh, kind of like do a cover um, on that one. That's that's the round right there. Well, the first round was a, uh, a cover of uh, whatever song that we chose, and then the second round was uh, them uh, giving us a song that they chose for us. Oh, okay. I got it. Flip flop. Okay, right. okay, 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 yeah. okay. Cool, cool. Yeah. Hey, man, look out of your comfort zone, and and that's what it's all about. You know, what I'm saying when it when it comes to being a performer. Um, you never know when that moment's notice is when you need to, you know what I'm saying, get on the stage, hold that mic and really, you know what I'm saying, just do what you guys do, man. And I, like I said, man, everybody executed um, for you guys that didn't um, didn't get a chance to check out the uh, showcase from last year. I'm telling you, these these singers and performers that that was on the stage, they did their thing. Uh, I didn't see any flaw of it. And I really, really, to be honest with you, it was a hard decision on, you know, saying who was going to be a finalist or whatnot. So I just condemn everyone that was a part of the showcase as well. Now, um, James, I want to ask you, man, um, you know, with this whole COVID situation or whatnot, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it has affected everyone um, here in America and, and across the globe as well, man. Um, how has the COVID situation helped or altered you as an artist or a brand and what adjustments were made you know saying during these difficult times uh i mean man COVID came through and wiped everything out i mean you know uh all of the performances or things that you normally do live were just uh a council i mean every wedding every uh uh uh, charity function youth program concert um uh, music venue, it was just all closed down, and and, and that was really hard on people like uh, the gig workers, like myself. And um, but uh, 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 in a crazy retrospect, uh, COVID has really uh, given me um, uh, specifically the time to really get to know myself artistically. And I've written more songs and finished more songs than I ever have before in my life. So with that time, you, I just kind of. Uh, went into the the drawing board and just tuned my craft and just begin to just start recording and just uh, allowing these ideas to flow. So that really uh, was a positive in the whole situation. I, and I and I'm I wouldn't give it back. You know, I wouldn't uh, change anything about the events. But uh, uh, it has been an experience. Yeah, really has. <laughs> Wow, man. Hey, hey, look, and I think that I think you speak for a lot of people, um, especially music creatives out there that had to make adjustments. And, you know, saying my heart goes out to, you know, a lot of live performers, live gig workers, uh, live venues, um, event venues or whatnot. That's really kind of like either struggling or they having to make some very, very fine adjustments in order to keep business rolling. And uh, we're all adjusted to the chimes. I mean, look at this. We would have did this interview face to face, man, but we have to do this uh, via video conference or whatnot, man. But hey, we're making it happen, man. And we're giving the people what they want, right? Super thankful for for technology. Uh, Like, uh, to be quite honest with you, it kind of got a little depressing in, in, in just a small bit because uh, the only place that I was able to sing was the studio and funerals. And, you know, funerals were were, were like super rapid. Uh, this this disease really took a lot of lives, a lot of precious people. I know people who uh, lost both of their parents in, in a matter of a week from COVID. So it really was a game changer as far as people suffering. So I just kept uh, getting booked for funerals and funerals and funerals. And it just got really depressing. But but just allowing the music to serve as like something that feeds you and also feeds the uh, uh, the person who uh, is receptive or, or who's listening, uh, that kind of helps you get along with it. But um, it's something that you definitely uh, or I definitely had to shake, you know, um, loose from kind of a, a sad place of, of, of normal human despair, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah man. 
Hey, man, I, I commend you for doing that, man, for real. Um, it's not, man, I, I done worked a couple of funeral funeral gigs, and um, that's it's nothing, it's nothing even, easy, and it's something you don't, you know, you don't want to do, especially during these times. I mean, come on, you know what I'm saying? But, oh uh, man, hey, man, for real, man, salute you. to you, man, for doing that, um, or whatnot. Uh, we're gonna transition, man, and uh, we're gonna talk about um encouragement, man. So. For all the uh, aspiring artists and singers that, you know, saying are going to be chosen for the second annual Music Soul Live Showcase, um, they're out there grinding right now, you know, um, they may be timid of performing um, in public or even on social media, however it goes. Um, what advice would you give that second annual Music Soul Live Showcase contestant um, for as encouragement or advice on doing this showcase here in 2020? Uh, I mean, well, you know, it, 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 I know sometimes that, you know, it, it's, it's a normal, uh, a reaction to, to have a little bit of nervousness, uh, when we're performing. And I, and I really want to, uh, let every artist know that this nervousness or the little knots that kind of appear in your stomach, they never really go away. But as you continue to put yourself in those positions to kind of face it, you get better and better and better. And uh, even to the point for myself, like at first, uh, I, I, you know, I just had to close my eyes and just do what I needed to do, you know. And then uh, as I continue to get more comfortable with it, you know, I was able to look people right in their face and just, you know, or even if I start out at the beginning of the song, I have my eyes closed. So I can just kind of tune in with that inner energy. But you got to keep putting yourself in those positions and it'll become normal. It'll never go away. You'll always struggle with it just a little bit, but it'll be easier to deal with, you know, as you continue to uh, push yourself toward that. Yeah. Exactly, man. Exactly. Uh, man, that's that you hit that on the nail, man. Uh, you know, it's it's a different thing, you know, when you're performing live with people in the crowd because, you know, you're going to get that live feedback. Um, right. But I challenge a lot of artists. Look, if you're an artist, a rapper, any type of music creative out there, you could be a producer like myself and everything like that. Challenge yourself to go live on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? It's about uh, live on Instagram, Twitch, Facebook Live, whatever live and stream platform, live streaming platform out there. I challenge you to go out there and perform live. That's one of the ways James was talking about, you know what I'm saying? Having to shake off the, the nervousness and whatnot and, and really tune into your craft and your skill at what you do, man. James, that was some real good advice, man. For real, for real, man. I appreciate you for that right there. So, James, I'm going to go ahead and end off the interview, man. Appreciate you, you know what I'm saying, coming in and taking time out to, you know what I'm saying, talk with Music Soul Live Showcase, man. Or, or Do you have any new material coming out um, or any type of future releases um, here in the near future? Uh, yeah, I actually uh, released a single back in um, April. Uh, called Don't Blow It. It's on SoundCloud for my upcoming mixtape. And then I'm getting ready to release uh, another single. Uh, it's called Away. Um, real intimate. People are going to love it. So I'm recording a mixtape and it's going to be called Baby James. And uh, it's just going to be like a, a, a just a, about uh, it's going to have a lot of music that uh, influenced me back in the day, like uh, Houston music specifically. I don't know if you're originally from Houston, but like the big moves and the little kikis and the uh, Balls. And it's just gonna be like that old school Houston '90s sound with a with a bit of a you know uh, I guess vocally stylistically with a modern touch to it. So uh, if y'all wanna uh, you know keep your, your ears tuned, I swear I won't let you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that, man. I like I like what you what you're working on right now, man. That's that's different approach, right? I like that. I like that. So speaking of that, man, let the folks know where they can follow you at on social media. That way, they can stay in tune of the new stuff that you have going on and everything else that you um are promoting as well, man. Go ahead. You got the floor. Kick out your social media handles. You got it, man. Go ahead. Hey, thank y'all for uh um. Uh, tuning in with me you can actually find uh, me on Instagram at James underscore underscore Levi and you can find me on Facebook at Jesse James Levi and uh, on SoundCloud as King James Levi so look me up man Yes, 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 man. You definitely guys, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to push that. I'm going to go ahead and push your Instagram handle, man. You make sure you guys follow him on Instagram, James underscore underscore Levi, L-E-B-I. I I said that right, James? Uh, Levi like the jeans. All right, cool deal, man. Hey, James, man, I appreciate you coming on, doing an exclusive interview with Music Soul Live Showcase. Guys, let me tell you something. You guys can go and follow 
uh, Music Soul Live Showcase on Instagram at Music Soul Live Showcase, man. Um, that showcase, second annual showcase, will be going down on December 19th, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, streaming Facebook Live and Instagram Live, okay? Um, I, I'm encouraging everyone out there to follow the Instagram page at Music Soul Live Showcase. Um, all one word on Instagram for any updates or any changes um, or whatnot. We're slated to go live December 19th, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, Facebook Live and Instagram Live as well. And uh, James, man, have you heard about the prize package for the contestants on the second annual uh, showcase? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir, man. <laughs> it's nice, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that bad boy look. Hey, I'm telling you, no contestants is going to have to bring it, man. Um, For you guys that do not know the prize package for uh, the winner of the second annual Music Soul Live Showcase, um, they will be getting a recording studio package. Um, They will get a photo photography package from Garrett Walker Images and also a music video done by Jax Creative Media, man. That's that's awesome, bro. Uh, man. Make you want to go and submit again, right? <laughs> I if, I, if, if I do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and, and James, um, before we get up out of here, um, will you be doing any type of um, any type of appearances um, in this uh, second annual showcase? Uh, I'll definitely be there. Yeah, I'll definitely be there, whether I'm uh, okay. in the audience part of the showcase so yes sir okay cool well we'll, ch- we'll catch you in the chat room and everything like that man so people you know what I'm saying that was james levi he was one of the finalists in the first annual music soul live showcase i appreciate you guys tuning into this music soul live showcase content what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and um go and check out one of james's performances from um the first annual Music Soul Live Showcase. We're going to give you guys a snippet of what he did and everything like that. So you guys tune in right after this when I sign it out. I appreciate everyone tuning in to the Music Soul Live Showcase. James Levi, I appreciate you coming in, doing the interview. And we're going to go ahead and fast forward to this clip. James, you ready, man? Yes, sir. All right, here we go, man. Guys, appreciate y'all. Check out James Levi performing live. First annual Music Soul Live Showcase. We're out of here. Hey, man, hey, man. Get on my church boy, I want y'all to groove me on today. Y'all don't mind groove with me, huh? Y'all about sleep, huh? I'm already going for the black folks, we got life. That's what it comes, that's what it comes, that's what it comes. Send me your locations, focus on communication. Thank you.
Yeah.